We're like the supply chain feeding Walmart. Schools all across the country rely on adjuncts more and more and more because we will do the job cheaper. I stumbled across ceramics just for fun in college. And at the time, I remember thinking, well, ceramics is humble. You make practical things. That would be OK. I could do that, and it wouldn't be an ego violation. I came to the University of Florida because they gave me a fellowship. And I was hell-bent on being one of the best. And I wanted very badly to win the brass ring and get a full-time tenure-track teaching job. And by some fluke of the universe, I did. But my full-time tenure-track job was in South Carolina, which was culturally a foreign country. And I was also a lot younger and a lot more judgmental. During the three years I had a full-time tenure-track teaching job, I was corresponding to, with a man who was important to me, who was here in Gainesville. At the end of three years, I resigned my full-time job, knowing perfectly well I would never get another one. Because every year, universities crank out a fresh new crop of young hot shits. But I came back to Gainesville to set up a studio with my husband. Had a really, really good life for about 10 years. So I can't say I'm sorry. But at the end of that 10 years, he died leaving me with a paid-for house and a paid-for car and a little pot of money. But I was like 47 years old. I was not done with my life. And within a couple of years, I had the opportunity to start teaching at Santa Fe, and I took it. I really love my job, but the trouble is I, they don't pay very much. And as time has gone by, that pot of money has disappeared, and I still have to keep on paying the power bill and health insurance and cat food and all that. There are no full-time jobs. I have passed the threshold of being a young hot shit where I would ever get hired for a full-time job. I've been at Santa Fe for almost 12 years. We are treated as extremely uh, temporary and contingent, and that doesn't change no matter how many years you work there. It's very hard to predict year to year exactly how much money I'm going to make. It isn't steady month to month either, although the bills tend to be. I teach and sell pots. I have been a cat sitter. I was cat sitting all summer, but similarly, the guy I was cat sitting for had gone to, to New Hampshire to be a chef at a summer camp because he was broke and needed money and he still hasn't paid me for the cat sitting. The last five years say the Affordable Health Care Act has helped me a lot because I'm pretty poor so I get health insurance subsidized and I'm grateful. I have also in emergencies sold some of my very best pots that I kept in my old own collection to family. I have also worked at Publix Deli for a really long time, although on the calendar it was less than a year. And then finally, when I got old enough, started receiving Social Security survivor benefits, which have turned the tide. I am now able to slowly, slowly start digging myself out of the credit card debt I'm in. Most adjuncts are working, scrambling way too hard to put together a life and take care of their kids and whatever, to have a lot of time to sit in committee meetings. The Salary and Benefits Committee has tried to make recommendations that would improve working conditions and salaries for adjuncts. And year after year, they're completely ignored. Adjuncts don't even really have much representation on the Faculty Senate, and we can't vote in committees, even if we want to sit through a whole year of committee meetings. And a lot of the adjuncts I know are really, really fearful because they are in a precarious position. They really think that if they step out of line or get in trouble in any way, the college can very easily just not give them any classes next semester, which is true.
As a higher and higher proportion of the teaching is done by adjuncts at colleges and universities, the tipping point comes where the adjuncts will realize they're getting a raw deal and there, there is power in numbers. If adjunct professors got a wage that was roughly in parity with what full-time people make, we could spend a great deal more time with individual students. We could have office hours. We wouldn't be stressed out and dashing from campus to campus. I think the educational experience would be better.